Funko, Funko, Funko. <laughs> you just can't stop yourself, can you? So yeah, guys, that title, that thumbnail, Funko leaking even more to do with Financial Freddy's security breach. First, the Funko figures, and now the plushies. Yeah, that's right, guys. We're getting our full look at the upcoming Financial Freddy's security breach plushies. Leak or not at this point, I really don't know. There's been so many leaks and the fact that it's called security breach and blah, blah, blah. I don't know what to believe anymore. Regardless, these have been leaked early once again. And uh, yeah, we're going to check these out in a little bit more detail and just kind of go over my thoughts on them and what the heck they look like. So if you guys don't want to be spoiled, this is, of course, showing the full on character reveals of like the Glam Rocks we haven't really seen much of at this point, like Roxanne, Glam Rock Chica, Montgomery. Yeah, don't click on this video but if you're all good to that three two one yeah let's look at those plushies and here they are guys all bundled up in absolute joy together in the wonderful cardboard box saying Five Nights at Freddy's. I'm wondering if this box is temporary because it's not saying Five Nights at Freddy's security breach. And yes, this is 100% legitimate. And yes, this is on the Funko site, which we will be going on in just a second after we look at this a little longer because we can actually see them individually on Funko site. So yeah, they are official. This isn't some mock-up or anything. We have Vanny. The Alice in Wonderland ripoff. We have Montgomery from Peter Pan. We have Glam Rock, Give Me Your Frosted Flakes. We have Roxanne from the Goofy movie. And we have Glam Rock. Let's no, look at her God. cheeks. So, uh, yeah, all the characters have to be had here. And they are, in my opinion, looking decent compared to the figures we saw. This is an upgrade. They definitely look a lot better than I initially thought because of what the figures look like. So, um, to me, I'm perfectly fine with this and I think they're perfectly okay. And um, although I have bought the figures and I am still waiting on my reveal on that, guys. Uh, some of you have asked me about that. But I'm from the UK and FNAF stuff coming to the UK takes real long compared to how most Americans get it, like straight up. So I'm waiting a little longer on those. But regardless, these look real cool and I can't wait to purchase them. Yeah, and in comparison, they look way better than the figures. I don't know why there's two Glam Rock Freddies. I think just because in these, like, uh, these stock images, um, there is normally six to fill in the box, and they didn't have six characters to fill in the box. Um, they could have used Security Girl, though. Why aren't we getting merch of Security Girl? It would be nice to have a Security Girl figure and a Security Girl plushie, you know? That would have helped make up the sick spot. I, I don't know why. Maybe down the line we will. But right now, it doesn't seem like there's any Security Girl stuff. Kind of weird. Okay, so we are going to go on the Funko site and look at these in more detail. As well as the figures being here. Yeah, we can see the plushies as well. Official Funko site right now. 100% legitimate. So, let's look at uh, whatever order. So, let's look at Glamrock. Uh, Freddy here and they're gonna be 10 US dollars, but when it comes to me and being in the UK they will probably be 15 for some random reason. It's just the way it works It's sad times being in the UK and I feel you guys in France and whatnot you were telling me I feel really bad for you guys as well We should all just group together and band and tell Scott that we want we want merch and we want it now <laughs> All right, so glam up Freddy again. I'm liking the look of these plushies. I, I think they're actually real good this doesn't look like pre-existing patterns or anything, like, especially with the figures. We can tell straight up there are pre-existing patterns, like, we, we really just had, like, uh, uh, Toy Mangle, like, Toy Foxy being Roxanne, and then we had Funtime Freddy being Glam Rock Freddy. Here, they just look like they're done pretty much, uh, from scratch, you know? I mean, they could have used a pre-existing pattern and just made it slightly different, but... At least they did that, if they did that, you know. They do look like they stand on their own. And again, I'm very excited for these. So Glamrock Freddy, he looks absolutely fantastic there. They're all going to be the same price, of course. Glamrock Chica, probably my favourite. She's looking great. I'm loving what's going on with her. I've already said that I love the whole Glamrock aesthetic and that 70s, 80s vibe going on here. So yeah, Glamrock Chica here, she's looking so good. She doesn't have her earrings, though. We can already see from the figure just down there that there's no earrings here. And her bow, it looks more like she's got a mohawk. Yeah, that's kind of weird. She does have the fringe, actually. It's just that it's very thin felt. You can just see it. 
Like, yeah, you can just see that she will have her, like, hair. And that is definitely going to be the bow. But the fact that it's very thin felt, especially at a front angle, it makes it look like she's bold and has a pink mohawk. But she will have the pink bow with the actual uh, hair she's got going on in the official design. Again, the earring things, I don't know why they're not there. Not entirely sure. Maybe they'll be printed on the sides. We just can't see them from the front. I have no idea. So we got Montgomery. He's looking real good. Maybe my second favorite. I don't know. He just looks so jazzy. I'm loving the way they, they did the pattern for his legs there. He's got his belt. Yeah, he's looking absolutely amazing. He's got some nice uh, embroidered, by the looks of it, sunglasses. So yeah, if this actually properly embroidered, that's going to be a nice detail there and a nice bit of effort on Funko's part. But they might not be. It might just be like pasted on, you know. I, I really don't know. Just purely printed. They might not be embroidered. Who knows? From the picture, it kind of looks like it. Roxanne, she's looking adorable. Like, these pluses look good. Like, let me know what you guys think. But in my opinion, I think they actually look really good. So Roxanne here, she's got all her jazzed up glam rock look, of course. Dang, I'm loving it. Again, it doesn't look like a pre-existing pre -existing pattern on Funko's part. I could be wrong again, but just from what I'm seeing right now, these look legitimate and look like they've done them from scratch or at least molded a, uh, like a, a pattern before. I don't know. It just doesn't look like they've used a pattern and changed the colors to say, oh, look, now it's Glamrock Freddy. You know what I'm saying? So that, that's good at least. And then we have Vanny. I've heard mixed opinions on Vanny. As always with Vanny, there's mixed opinions. She's going to be the big new baddie, I get it. There's a big fan base behind her. So any kind of merch and just her in general, there's going to be, you know, different kind of opinions. I personally, again, I'd probably like this more than the figure of her. I mean, there's a slight sadness to her eyeballs. <laughs> she looks emotionally distressed. She did something from Glitch Trap that she even thought was too far. <laughs> You're telling me to fry my eggs and not scramble them? Regardless of what the heck she did and how she's even looking here. Yeah, I do actually like it. She's got all her patterns here as we've seen from the official design now and even the figure. She's looking pretty much like that. Yeah, I don't, I don't think it's too bad. The eyes could probably change a bit though, I think. That's what it is, like those droopy eyes there. Yeah, they're a little off, I will admit. Again, makes her look sad, emotionally distressed. <laughs> So the eyes need improving, just to make her look, well, more like the actual picture of her, I guess. Anyway, going into the actual product details, this is pretty much the same with all the other plushies, but in this case, whoever you click on, it's just their name. So it will be Vanny here. If we clicked on Glam Rock Freddy, it will say Glam Rock Freddy, blah, blah, blah. So if anotypes and action figures are not your preferred keepsake, consider collecting the Finance Freddy Security Breach plus Vanny, the plus... The plush are a safer way to keep your favorite FNAF characters close. Collectible plush is six inches tall. So, okay, they're six inches tall. Just kind of like your standard Funko plush, which I have many of. But yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, again, I've said what I said here. I'm a fan of these, especially compared to the figures. Although, I'm getting the figures. <sighs> Just look at them. What actually happened, I don't know.